This is Crypto Kernels. I am your host, Asa Kane. In this episode, we're going to be taking a look at Ethereum, which is second only to Bitcoin in terms of total market cap. Now, before we do so, if you haven't already, make sure you hit the like and subscribe buttons. The like button is the thumbs up icon that you see right below the video. What this does, it helps to ensure that it gets shared with other people who are just like you who are new and want to start learning as much as they can today. Starting the day, I should say. And also hit the subscribe button, which is our icon that you see in the lower right hand corner of your video playing. What this does for you, it ensures that you don't miss out on any upcoming episodes of Crypto Kernels. Now, let's get into it. Ethereum. As of today, August the 2nd, 2022, it is still second only to Bitcoin in terms of total market cap, which is currently $199 billion, as you see here, just under $200 billion, with a B. The price per Ethereum token is currently $1,640. Now, we're going to go back for a second, because just nine months ago, less than nine months ago, the price per token was at its all-time high of 4800 So in the last nine months, it's lost 66% of its value from that because of all the factors that we showed you in our last video, which affected it. Not only Bitcoin, but it and every other altcoin as well. Now, in the last three months, let's go here. We can see that in May, the 1st of May, it was 2900 per token. It has since gone down even more. And once I realized it was going to keep going down, I told myself that once it got to close to 1000 or right under 1000 if it went that far, I was going to get as much as I could at that time. And once it did, I did exactly that. So I've loaded up on Ethereum in the last six weeks at that price, at around that price point. Now, here over the last 30 days, we can see that as of second week of July, no, right here, a week ago, it got up to 1756. So just for me personally, from that investment I made six weeks ago, I've made 700, a little over $700 per token. Okay, now do what you want. This is not advice. This is just me explaining my perspective. Now we're going to talk a little bit about this merge. Let's find out about it. We can see here, this is Ethereum's homepage. You go over here, more on the merge. Soon, the current Ethereum mainnet will merge with the Beacon Chain Proof of Stake system. This will mark the end of proof of work for Ethereum and the full transition to proof of stake. It sets the stage for future scaling upgrades. The merge will reduce Ethereum's energy consumption by 99%. This article from moneymorning.com, written by David Zeller. This was published actually just today. How the merge could send Ethereum to a peak of 150,000 per. The Ethereum network's long-awaited upgrade to how transactions are verified is finally set to begin in mid-September, tentatively for September 19th. This upgrade will shift Ethereum from using mining as a means of validating transactions to PO, I'm sorry, POW, to using validators who must lock up at least 32 Ethereum proof of stake. In the work since 2015, this major transition has been delayed several times. According to their website, the merge is the most significant upgrade in the history of Ethereum. From a technical standpoint, this is no doubt true, but from an investor standpoint, it's even more significant. Anticipation of the merge has already had an impact on the Ethereum price. It rose more than 48% in the 30 days as of July 28th. As talk of the event has intensified, most other top cryptocurrencies over the same time are either up single digits, flat, or down. 
and this may be only be a small taste of what's to come. The merge is just one of several upgrades that addresses long-standing issues such as high fees, scalability, while reducing issuance of new tokens. The recent rally has put the Ethereum price at around 1700 so we're talking about gains of more than 1600% if it goes as high as 150000 Hmm, that would be great. Uh, I don't want to really go into that analyst. What I do want to talk about next is the, defining the merge. The term merge refers to the merging of a parallel test network called the Beacon Chain, merging with the Ethereum mainnet. The Beacon Chain has run proof of stake for more than a year and a half alongside the mainnet, so developers can make sure it works smoothly. While Beacon Chain merges with the main and its proof of stake system will replace the existing proof of work system permanently, the Beacon Chain becomes the main net. How will this affect your Ethereum? It won't. You don't have to change anything. You don't have to do anything. You don't have to swap out anything. Just hold on to what you have. The impact on gas fees. Unfortunately, the move to proof of stake won't have any significant impact on fees. However, the merge is a necessary step toward a planned upgrade known as sharding, as well as efforts to make Ethereum work better with Layer 2 solutions, both of which will reduce fees and help the network scale to accommodate increasing usage. For example, future upgrades are expected to boost the network's availability, ability, I should say, to process transactions from around 15 to 20 per second to 100,000 per second. Let that sink in. According to the Ethereum website, blocks will be produced about 10% more frequently on the proof of stake network. One thing that will change is that transactions will be finalized when the block is validated. With proof of work, transactions are often not considered final until several more blocks are added to the blockchain to confirm it. Since after the merge, transactions will be considered final almost right away, users won't have to wait for more confirmation blocks. This may seem faster to some people, even though the transactions themselves aren't going to be processed that much more quickly. The finality of the transactions increases security. Proof of stake makes it even harder for a bad actor to hack the network itself. Another significant benefit of the merge will be that as proof of stake network, Ethereum will use far less energy, more than 99% less. These are two benefits of the merge. Another one is high energy consumption by crypto and Ethereum has been a big deal for climate activists. So this will make many people happy. We'll see. Now, don't forget the triple halving. The triple halving refers to a series of changes to Ethereum that will cut its daily issuance of new Ethereum by approximately 90%, which is roughly the equivalent of three Bitcoin halving events. The first change was the so-called London hard fork that went live a year ago this month. It also reduced some of the Ethereum fees that go to miners by burning it or permanently destroying it. That's one element in the reduction of daily issuance of Ethereum. The merge brings a much bigger reduction in daily issuance because it replaces the miners with the proof of stake validators. The triple halving also figures prominently in the case for Ethereum having a major rally. Over time, the reduction in supply will have a cumulative effect. So, I've explained to you some of the things that have been happening and what's happening right now. If you want to get some, that's totally on you. Do your own research. Now, if you do want to get some, you can. Ethereum is available for purchase on every major exchange. If you don't already have a Coinbase account, you can sign up using our link in the description. And you'll earn $40 in free crypto just by taking a couple of sample tests. You can also sign up using our crypto.com link that I'm showing you here to sign up and earn. $25 of free crypto from them just by signing up for an account today. Now, in addition to this crypto that you're going to get, all this new crypto, you have to protect what you have because if you don't protect what you have, it doesn't matter because 
you're not going to keep it. The only way to do so is to have your own cold storage wallet. Now, Ledger is one of the leading worldwide manufacturers of cold storage crypto wallets. They're based in France. I bought a couple of them, one for myself, one for my son, who I got into crypto a little over a year ago. Actually, he got his first Ethereum token when they were right around six hundred dollars, maybe six twenty five. I know because it was a it was a big deal for me as his father to be able to explain to him the benefits of it and to see him watch it grow in excitement. And uh, I hope that for all of you that are invested and that will become invested. So we'll see. You can also drop me a line at our email that you see here and contribute to the channel with any ERC20 token, including Ethereum. You can do so at our address, which is in the description. You can also contribute via Cash App. And uh, until next time, which is going to be very soon, get in there and make it happen.